hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to look at how we can implement pagination in our nest.js application so previously my quiz url would give all the quizzes which are available so if i go to my quiz service this was the previous code i was doing a query left joining the questions and i was doing get many and that would result in returning all the quizzes which are present in my database but obviously that is not how we would ideally like to do and hence we have implemented this pagination if you see it takes certain query parameters for example right now it is on page one limit one if i do page two with limit one it shows me id one because my query inside quiz service is ordering the quizzes by id1 okay so that's how things are laid out and let's see how we can write our code or modify certain things to get this pagination behavior so first of all inside my package JSON, if you see i have added nest js type orm paginate this is the npm module which is required for you to get this behavior the first thing which i have done is inside the service i have a new method called paginate okay i'm not calling the get all quiz if if we go to our quiz controller this slash url is not calling the page uh, the get all quiz anymore it is calling this function we'll go to that but first of all what we are doing is in this function we are expecting options which is of type i pagination options this basically comes from the package nest.js type orm paginate it expects certain kinds of parameters for example it will require the limit it requires the page the route meta transformer routing labels all these things are optional so what it means is limit and page are by default required fair enough so that is something which we will get through our options what we can see over here is I've created this query builder instance. So this quiz repository, quiz repository is something which is getting injected over here, right? So this quiz repository create query builder. Okay, then that query builder has more parameters to it. For example, order by quiz ID descending. And then I return whatever is coming from this paginate method, which is again, part of the nest type ORM paginate module, okay? and we say that it is going to return quiz entity basically what is going to happen is it will understand what is the kind of response we will get obviously the paginate takes the query builder instance and options so we are passing the query builder which we created over here and we are passing the options which are coming as part of the parameter and in return it gives us a promise of type pagination and we are passing the entity so that it understands what is the underlying thing so if you see over here it's t right so it will get this meta and items is paginated object okay so that that's the first type of thing which is coming and obviously it is going to be an array fair enough so now the service basically has been defined I'm calling this service inside this controller. I have this options configuration. I can definitely directly send it over here to simplify things, but I just created a variable over here. I'm saying it's going to have a limit and page. Now the limit and page is coming from my query parameters to the controller. So query parameter, first parameter is page. I'm saying the default value will be one so that if for some reason, I don't pass anything. Can you see? It gives me the data because my default value is one page. And I'm saying that the page is going to be of type number. And I'm doing a parse int pipe as well so that I ensure that whatever is going over here is a number. Same case goes for the limit. I'm, I have said that the default limit right now is 10, although my number of records are only two. So if you see, if I make it one, with no parameters it will return me only one item okay so let's keep it as 10 again right so basically what is going to happen is in here the options 
and again this is es6 it's basically limit equals limit and page equals page right so i can basically do this so these are the two variables i'm passing and that is resulting in this behavior right i can do question mark limit equals one and it will work because the page is set to default one and if i pass page as well page equals two it gives me id one now let's look at how this translates into our swagger documentation let me refresh and if you see my quiz now has page number and limit over here let me log in and get the token so that i can show you this in working condition try out i get the token and over here in this lock right by the way if you don't know how this swagger do documentation has been created then i would strongly suggest that you look at the previous videos from this playlist where i have in detail show you how to configure your swagger so that it automatically creates this nice documentation and you are able to use that as not only a documentation but testing tool as well so now let me try it out by default okay if i do this as you can see this is coming now these are um, some examples obviously this is not correct data uh, because i had to hard code them i have still not figured out how to get them as dynamic objects but yeah the, the response is coming and you generally get a understanding right documentation something is definitely better than nothing so yes that, that's there so how have i done this that is important right so let's go inside our controller because that's where we will understand what is happening so i have created this api paginated response decorator okay if you see this one is api created response which comes from swagger okay and previously we had api okay response as well the created one is obviously for the you know post route this is hmm, i should have also used php uh, sorry not php wow <laughs> uh, api okay response right if i do this ideally this i won't refresh because then the token goes away but yes this thing will also start showing in proper shape but then the, the thing is these are something which is which are coming from swagger but this is a decorator which i created so let's see what i have done over here again this is something which is there in the documentation as well but i will still explain you what is happening so this decorator okay you can basically say that this is it expects api extra models where i have defined the paginate dto in my paginate dto i have said that i will have items okay which is of t data i mean it can be any kind of um, data which will be an array and i have meta which has pagination meta and that is the interface for this okay so i have total items item count items per page total pages and current page all right now in my response so i have what i have done is I have said that this is the model which I'm going to use and all of means all the items will be of type this paginated data. Okay. And then I have properties inside properties. What I have said is that my, there will be a property called items, which is of type array. And the items for that is options dot model. Okay. How am I getting the options? So if you see in any decorator, we pass an object, for example, API created response, we pass an object inside API. Okay. Response. If I start adding this, right, this is, you know, a parameter that I'm passing. So similarly, my decorator will get 
options and I have declared what is the type which I'm expecting. So I will expect a model type is any description is string. Okay. So when I'm creating this API OK response, which is a default from Swagger, in that I am overriding and saying all of is of type paginated data. It has certain properties. What are the properties? It has item, which is of type array, and it will get the schema from options.model, schema path rather, right? And I have meta, which I told you is right now hard coded. But because of this, right, you can simply copy paste and change your stuff and add that as your own decorator over here inside the controller. And that will result in this entire documentation of swagger getting updated with this kind of a response so yeah that's about it guys that's how easy it is to implement pagination to your nest.js application using type orm if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel